What's up, guys? Welcome to Rice and Beans. We are in the house with a full cast. Cookie, Big O, Jasmine Hello. Rice, and we even got Hello. two guests from Earful. How's everybody's night going? Hey, great. Amazing. Nice. Good. Dan, Glorious. thanks for having us. Of course, man. Of course, of course. Yes, thank you. Um, glad to have you in, Jasmine. Glad to have you back. We know you just had a baby. How's uh, how's life yeah. been been since uh, ha having another kid? Um, I don't know. You can throw shit out of my fucking vagina now. Wouldn't be <laughs> the first time. <laughs> can't relate. I can't relate. <laughs> <want to. laughs> don't I'm want the only to. vagina in the house right now. So. Shout. <laughs> Well, no, I'm not talking about this house. I'm talking about the podcast house. <laughs> I had a kidney stone once. Does that count? Well, it's like there's three vaginas in the house now. And I was like, no, 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 not that. Not, not, not our house. Their house. Yep. So. Our house. The rice and beans house. Right. They, <laughs> the house that offensive comedy built. So <laughs> it's glorious, right? Four seasons long. I couldn't, I, I can't believe we've been on the fucking air for this long. People's expectations are really a lot lower than I thought they were. Like we showed you. Season, yeah, I was out like the whole entire probably third season. Well, I mean, growing another human, we, we, we figured you had a good excuse. <laughs> <laughs> so she says. <laughs> well, you well, you joined us for the uh, yeah. for the tribute show to, to Rickles on the, the three year anniversary. So you did make an appearance. Yeah, just one. It's all so, good. So we've got a good show lined up for you tonight. Uh, the spotlight comedian is Dave Chappelle. So we have what? a cut. Yeah. Hey, the greatest. Yes. One of oh. the best. Did you guys see Unforgiven? Unforgiven. It's that new. It was a, like an 18 minute video that Chappelle posted uh, where he was just like going off and like what happened after and why and how they're and how they're doing them dirty at. Um, like HBO and Comedy Central. And oh, the, yeah. Yeah. Is so, that where he was talking about he didn't want people to stream his show? And yeah. He gets paid? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So, I mean, That's yeah, I can't blame him. Foul. Like if, foul. If, if they did us dirty like that, I wouldn't want to stream in our shit either. It's like exactly. he did put in all the work and, and they're reaping all the benefits. So, yeah, it's some fucked up shit. Pay us, but, then you can yeah. do us dirty, right? But you got to go through the grind. Money. Like, mm -hmm. So Netflix cheddar. dropped their uh, canceled the season on that they were going to show in honor of that uh, request. So they didn't have to do that. It's really nice that people are picking up where and being you know honorable in this type of situation. Absolutely, true dude. story. I mean, like, hopefully the other ones you know decide to do at least pay him. You know, not not necessarily take it off the air, but just you know give him what he's due. Like he, that show right. was that show was great and Epic. two of. Yeah, two of our, in fact, Huge. two of our segments tonight are are um, giving props to that show. But uh, to right now, we are going to get into uh, something that we haven't done in a while, and um, we're just, we decided to bring it back and uh, try to make it work this time. Hopefully, <laughs> fingers uh, crossed. So. Uh, Johnny and Jose from Ear 4 are going to help us out. Uh, if one of you guys could go ahead and take that blue beanie, the other one right could here. take the headphone bag. Okay, All righty. And uh, so the way Two Minute Warning works is there are three names in one of those pouches, <laughs> and there's three topics in the other one. Uh, they're going to go ahead and pick one at random, and they're going to read the name first and then the topic. And whosoever name gets picked with whatever topic, that's the one you got to go on for two minutes. Either a rant, stand-up act, whatever you want to do, two minutes on the topic. So uh, whoever has the name bag, if you give us the first name. You, Jester. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right. All right. What are we going to talk and about? The topic is social media. God damn. Yeah, All right, shit. so let me go ahead and uh, get two minutes up on the board here. All right, and uh, I think this one will probably be better as a rant. So two minutes on social media starting now. So it's everybody's bitching platform. It, it, the internet gave everybody a voice and everybody decides to use that voice to cry and piss and moan about every fucking thing that's going on in their life. It doesn't matter what it is. I stubbed my fucking toe. I made some soup. I went to the gym. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody gives a fuck. It's, everybody's too nice and they keep giving you likes and it's just so you don't fucking cry. And then when shit goes really wrong, then you see these fucking assholes posting with the... Uh, 
the whole fucking hashtag thoughts and prayers, which means is it good for absolutely jack shit. And it all it's saying is, hey, don't forget about me today. Well, fucking everybody else is, you know, actually donating money or giving time, you know, picking up remains or whatever. And, you know, and, and then people are so fucking butthurt sensitive you know like prone these days that you can't even make fun of fucking tragic situations on the day they're happening oh it's so disrespectful to the to the people to the victims whatever they're not fucking on social media they're doing like you know victim shit <laughs> and it's like the, like seriously are they watching going like are we trending or like are, are people talking about us are they blogging about us and the other thing, the comment section, it's it's fucking ridiculous. I go to the comment section just to start or watch fights. That's where the action is. It's not nobody ever has anything intelligent to say. It's always just nitpicking, fighting, 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 blah 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 and more crying and then people be like blocking each other and that's my 2 minutes. Amen. Stunning. <laughs> Retweet. <laughs> Retweet. Retweet. Yeah. So uh, that was my two minutes. Uh, can we, let's get the next name and the next topic. Here we go. Pasa la right, here we go, we go. <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> and the lucky winner is... <laughs> Senor Cookie. Hola. <laughs> yeah, what's Hello. he going to talk about? Uh, cell phones. <laughs> cell phones. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, all righty, here we go. Two minutes on the board, and go for it. I'm gonna go for rant like format on this one. Like, don't get me wrong. I love my cell phone. I, I, it's definitely a survival tool. But just this is gonna really show my age. I just hate how like you see eight year olds with a fucking cell phone. Are you kidding me? Like, who do you have to call? Who do you need to be in touch with? Why do you have a fucking cell phone? That is why, like, as a whole, like, society is on a decline because they're eight years old. They're posting shit. They're calling people. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, you do not need a cell phone. I made it 37 years, and I probably had a phone for only 17 of those years. I was fine. You don't need to like post every little thing. Going back to what Jester said, it's like no one cares if you stubbed your toe. No one cares if you got an A in like your class unless it's your parent. You don't need to be posting that shit. You don't need to like text somebody something. It's just ridiculous. I like the whole cell phone thing. I don't even know if that's the direction you were expecting me to go or like that's what you meant. But like, no, no, cell phones. I, I mean, I'm not for landlines or anything like that, but just the cell phone thing is fucking ridiculous. I mean, mind you, I do love my cell phone, though. It's like right there. It's fucking amazing. But I think a cell phone shouldn't be like, it should be earned. Like, unless you can pay your own bill, you shouldn't have a cell phone. With that being said, I probably shouldn't have a cell phone because I do not pay my own bill. But. It's like, no, 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 no. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. We got two minutes. <laughs> What's a landline? <laughs> <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> You're probably going to ask, what's I tried to make a up. dick pic on my rotary phone. <laughs> Is that the telegram? <laughs> beep, 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 beep. What's a pay phone? <laughs> That's how old school we are. We wanted to send a dick pic. It was with the fucking Nokia, and you had to push all the fucking numbers to, like, draw oh. the dick out. <laughs> the weed. <weirder. laughs> like, this snake keeps getting larger and larger every time it it's a number. <laughs> this snake gets a little bigger and you bigger. You guys had pagers? <laughs> I had a pager, yeah, in high school. I did not, you, you played snake on the Nokia? <laughs> yep. No, I remember when I had to go buy phone cards to fucking dial long distance to, like, my fucking That's still online a thing, boyfriend though. in fucking Chicago, dude. Jeez. I actually had a phone when I was like nine years old. <laughs> Fuck oh, you. Oh, no. I said eight. And, You're and, cool. And, and I'm, 20, I'm 24, so it's been 15 years. <laughs> so you know, you actually did something good with it. You got your own business. Hey, I earned mine, though. I like, like, <laughs> well, you said, you I earned mine. Uh, and then you're good. Then you're good. <laughs> I'm in the corner you know selling weed. You, That's how I was doing. triggered by that because I have a kid that has a cell phone. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, you got to be a good You're the absolute worst, Jasmine. You are the worst. <laughs> like, like, she's, she's Making had more a cell phone babies? since she was like in first grade. Get her no. a pager. Show your baby cell phone right now. <laughs> 
Yeah, then don't 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 do the same thing with the next one. Get them get the get the younger one a pager. Pager. You're like you got to earn yourself a pager. Here's a pager. <laughs> pager. Texting bill. you. Wah, give me some nipple. Wah. <laughs> Post just the tip. Post it. Just the tip. <laughs> Here comes the airplane. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, two down, one to go. Big O, looks like you're oh, up. Shit. What's Big O's topic? <sighs> okay. Is dun, dun, uh -oh. dun. Trump. Oh, oh snap! Putting two minutes on the board go now. Off, King. And go. Okay. Let's see if this is a rant or a comedy sketch. So, Trump. What the fuck's up with Trump? Builds a fucking wall to keep the Mexicans out. Who's going to pick your fruit? Who's going to mow your lawns? Who's going to prune your trees? This guy, and you're going to kick this motherfucker out on a on a case-by-case -case basis? Come on. And whoever thought Mexicans would be miners? Usually they're in Oklahoma digging up coal, but here we are in the desert making tunnels all the way through the wall. We'll get across. We don't give a fuck. We know how to fly. Mexicans are all about finding the way through. We can swim, we can dance, we can do all this shit. Hell, we got Mexicans got long ass boots that curl around. Looks like we're fucking Alice in Wonderland. We're in a separate world. Man, we could do it all. I don't understand what Trump's doing. Uh, I do understand one thing, you know, gas prices are down. So, you know, we can get our big Chevy trucks full of gas and be able to prune your fucking lawns. We got to do a lot of different things. I agree with a lot of a lot of things that Trump do does, but you know, there's a lot of sh bullshit that's going on too. I've always said it, and I always will. Tariffs should be high against pe things coming in from China, India, everywhere else. Just China. like we're giving them open tickets to bring stuff of our stuff going in there. You know, we need to make money. We need to take our, care of our own, and it needs to start with the people that are influxed in. California, Arizona, Nevada, the Mexicans. The Mexicans are what keep this country moving. You guys don't do shit. We're the ones who do it for you. Two Amen. minutes. Nice. Damn, we are some bitching ass motherfuckers today. Did you notice that? Everybody's like bitching about something. We're all menstruating right now. <laughs> Smoke more Did we weed. Sink yes. up? Did we sink up? <laughs> Jasmine, we're blaming you for this shit. You bleeding? <laughs> yeah, you bleeding. Yeah. I I came in and I was like, what the fuck? Everyone's bitching today. <laughs> She's like, God damn, like fucking I'm the only badge here and you Shut all are that on your baby period. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Damn. Well, anytime brings, like, anyone brings up Trump, you got to yell. So I just figured I'd join the crew. <laughs> and it's funny that what you said about the like, uh, run, like running, jumping, swimming. It reminded me of that joke. It's like, why didn't Mexico have a have a team here during the Olympics in 84? We're already here. <laughs> it's because everybody uh, that could run, jump and swim was already here. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, so, you know, it's uh, something that we haven't done in a while, but, uh, you know, that two-minute warning is always a, a good go-to. Hey, uh, well, you were speaking on earlier mm -hmm. about um, social media, how people can't, you know, can't uh, are too sensitive on certain topics, and, uh, on tragedies and mm -hmm. shit like that. You're talking about dark humor and shit like that. Uh, what about that, that comedian? I think his name is Ari Shafir or something like that. He's best known for uh, Amazing Racist. You guys probably heard of him, but mm -hmm, he, mm -hmm. he's really known for um, when, when people die, when celebrities die, he, he comments, he makes a joke about their death and, you know. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Well, however, just no fucking filter. So his fans know him for that. And and people think he crossed the line when he when he spoke on Kobe's death. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you guys think about that? You, that's too far, or I personally wouldn't like follow someone like that, but I get it. It's like uh, if that's like your your forte, <laughs> we are then, those fucking. People. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but it's like I dude, you can't us either. <laughs> you can't pick and choose. If that's what you're known for, that's what you're known for. Don't all of a sudden like say, "Oh, I like this person." You can't talk shit about them. Like, no, right? You followed them. You decided like this is what you were into. Like, go with it. It's like don't like make this person feel bad or like unlike them because all of a sudden oh no like yeah it was a tragedy and that's terrible but still like you followed him like throughout like all the other deaths so it's like what makes this one like exempt why is this person so special you know like just suck it up 
I agree. It's, it's too, yeah, it, it's it's too pronged because it's like yeah. number one, you know, like just like the people that listen to this show, that tune into this show, you know what the fuck you signed up for. Like you know Fuckers. what you're getting. Like it, it's like you're gonna hear shit that it's gonna make you go, oh fuck. Like sometimes, but it's it's part of the show. <laughs> like you know that it's to be expected. And number two is it like if that's what you're expecting, that's what you're that you're tuning in for, then don't fucking puss out when you fucking hear something that oh somebody was a little bit closer to you. Like that motherfucker didn't know you. Like are you fucking kidding me? Like do you think Kobe Bryant gave two shits about half the fucking people that supported it and made it what it was? No, fuck no. But the thing is, is like what it's near and dear to them so it's like oh yeah. we have boundaries now no you didn't have boundaries when i was making fun of that other motherfucker but now you have fucking boundaries this is where you draw the line come right. on that's just people fucking again using that internet getting on their soapbox and using it to bitch we are bitter today <laughs> no shit right this, this goes into <laughs> politics you know hey trump is our guy hey biden's our guy you really think they're gonna fucking pass a law to no. make Fuck sure you have no, a billion yeah. dollars they you. say fuck you you know you gave us the ticket we're gonna go through with what we feel is best fuck everybody this this whole thing with you know comics and soul comics and everything everybody's all wrapped up in bullshit and oh my god i'm so offended you know what if you tune into it and you're offended turn it off walk away it's done it's you're not offended easy. anymore don't be a bitch move along stop wasting our time fuck you Amen. Right. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Jasmine? What do you What do you think? What I think mm -hmm. about the whole Kobe thing, or just in general? Well, what they, what their question about like is it what? How do we feel about like the people that were like for this dude making fun of everybody else that died, but it's, the minute Kobe died, then they get all weepy and he they want to block him. And, yeah, then he went too far. <sighs> I mean, people are going to bitch either way, whatever they want to fucking bitch about. Um, it seems like it don't matter who it is. If you want to cancel the person for for doing whatever they want to do and rant about something, then just don't fucking follow them. It's, it's really just that the fucking simple. Yeah. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter if you want to if you want to fucking stop listening to them and stop listening to them if you don't, you know. Yeah, I agree. I mean, if, like, you know what I mean? At, at the end of the day, if you want to follow them, follow them. If you don't, you don't. You know what I mean? It, like, it, that's really just. But does it does it make it any different from what they were doing to begin with? I mean, if that's what you you follow them for, don't act surprised. That's that's my only thing. Right. We're not. Like, don't here. be a hypocrite about it. All of a sudden, like. Would you yeah. personally follow him, Jasmine? Like that, like type of humor, like Jester said, like that's our forte. That's what we do, you know. But like we are that type of people. Right. I mean, <laughs> I Would guess you? it really just depends. Just like I mean, it really just depends. I don't really try to like single out people. Right, right. Just because I mean, I I follow like even certain. Can't quote unquote canceled beauty gurus on YouTube that have said like racist shit. I still follow them because I still like their craft. Doesn't exactly. Mean, like, I still follow you know Paula I mean? Like at the end of the day, it really just depends. <laughs> like I, I mean, Paula Dean. Do you ever feel like your mother like card Paulie like Dean. comes into play with that like being a mother, but then you're also like an individual. So do you ever feel like those kind of cancel each other out? I mean, it really just depends, like, on whatever topic, like, or whatever thing I support, you right. know? I mean, yeah. like, obviously, I'm never going to support any, like, fucking misogynist shit or and any other person that's going to pull off anything like that. Um, let's take, like, let's take our, our two uh, guests here. I mean, if they print something out that somebody's offended by, would we take away their right to make money and live? just because one person or a group of people are offended, that's bullshit. I mean, they're, you know, for one person that doesn't like it, there's a hundred other people that would like it. Yeah. So, right. I mean, really there's always an audience, your, for express it. your opinion, but move along, you know, yeah. don't, don't take people's livelihoods out. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And it's like, you could like <clears throat> just as easily change the fucking station, you know, turn the, turn the channel, like fucking keep scrolling. Mm -hmm. Like it, 
Like, why do you why do you have to be a fucking Karen about it? Like, yeah. why can't you just shut the fuck up and move the fuck on? Like, there's there's a bunch of shit that I see on social media and like out, out on the internet that I don't agree with or that I don't like. But it's like, why waste my fucking time bitching about it and exactly. like good like putting it into text? Like, for what? That's energy that I could have spent doing something creative or doing something else that would have brought me enjoyment to my life. And like, I don't know. A lot of people just don't see it that way. I don't know. How is it for you guys in the clothing industry? Yeah, like, I mean, do, do you have you ever run into a situation like that where, all, like you you had so, like I say a T shirt going and a, like a bunch of people liked it, but then all of a sudden one fucker got offended and now like it started like creating chaos for you, like you know you have to run damage control that kind of thing. Uh, <clears throat> uh we, is, haven't, we haven't gone through that, but no. Nah, I'm expecting I'm ready for it. Like, I, I understand that, you know, if if I'm putting my creative, you know, side into something, something's going to come out that not everybody agrees with. Like, yeah. that's It's something that's created by me so or, or us. So, I mean, if, if they're offended by it, it wasn't for them. Simple exactly. As that. Right, yeah. right. It's just, you know, if you, if you don't like it, move on. Like, why... why? Why bitch about it? Like like Big O said, why why try to take away somebody's livelihood when you could just as easily? That's just a hater, a hater though. <clears throat> yeah, you know, yeah. and haters gonna hate. At the end and... of the day, that's a hater. But... <laughs> yeah, for every ten likes, you're gonna get like one dislike, and it's just gonna be like, ah, fuck you. You know, it's just like, dude, pull a Joe Paterno and look the other way. Like, and it's somebody that knows like you. Carnal, and if you if you pick him <laughs> out, I'll hit him for you, man. Just, yeah, just I mean, we're still there for you, but I mean, <laughs> you want me to kick his ass? <laughs> it's a hate. It's a hate. Hold it back, cookie. Hold it back, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, so we. Um, Talk to our uh, talk. We're gonna talk to our guests a little bit. That uh, we brought them in, made them listen to our bullshit for a while. So we gotta see what's it. going Thank on. You. <laughs> we gotta I see what's it. going on in their life. If you don't know them, uh, start following them at Earful Five Six Two. Uh, it's up on the screen yes, there. Sir. We'll go ahead and put the links in the in the blog as always. Uh, we have Johnny and Jose. Uh, guys, welcome to Rice and Beans. Thank you, thank, thank you. you so much. I so, love uh, it. a little a little birdie told me that uh, you were on uh, on a tour with uh, Kalik Scott out on the East Coast. What was that like? Yeah, shout out my boy Kalik Scott. Man, was it like traveling? With, does, he he like you, fucking Kalik. snores a lot, huh? When he sleeps, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's about you hear him motherfucking through the wall. <laughs> I, was, I don't know. I, I, mean, I was. I, I have no idea. Yeah, I'm tired as fuck. About, but we well, just, so what did you guys do out there? What what, what was it like? It was, fuck. We really just, to, to say the least, we really live the, like the Jersey lifestyle, I guess. Like, we, we, like, I guess. Oh, you got herpes? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I not say that. We didn't, uh, we didn't not get, anymore. We didn't get not reckless. Any less. We didn't get reckless. That was our nah. first time out there. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, nah, but it was cool. It was like, like Khalid said, we were in the middle of the city. Like, we were in the heart, you know, like on the main street where there's a lot of businesses, like where it's active all day, so. Basically, it took us to the hood, you know, of, of New Jer- the Union City. We're really Union in the city. In the city. You guys sporting a t-shirt cannon shooting people in the chest? We should have. <laughs> Next time we will. But I don't know if we could get that t- through We're TSA. We're at Nanos. <laughs> TSA will be all right with a, with a t-shirt shooter. Right. Yeah. I could fly. I could fly with a t-shirt shooter. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, you know you what? Maybe, maybe we should uh, ask the folks over at Creatures and Cosplay if they can hook something up for you that'll break apart and you can take it with you on yes. the plane and then reconstruct okay. it when you yeah, get over there. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but let's yeah. don't shoot the kids in the face. A three piece uh, <laughs> t shirt cannon. Yeah, there we go. T-shirt cannon? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like in your country, they used to shoot babies out and that. I know that. I was just about to bring that up. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Is that how we got you over here, Jasmine? <laughs> No, they had to put a stamp no, on that's her. How my, that's, what, that's what my mom used. Mm. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Yeah, but really, though, the more you like know. A gumball machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. My my daughter is like, why are they calling you Jasmine? Who's that? Because <laughs> it's my name. Because that's how we know you. <laughs> that, that's like an Ace Ventura 2. Did you just refer to me as a Quincy Orcha? Yes. That's how they know you. <laughs> hey, they don't know your name. <laughs> I was about to ask: Is your last name Rice, or is that? Uh, <laughs> no, is that the, part uh, of the is that part of the podcast? Yeah, yeah. we all we all yeah. have uh, pseudonyms, stage names, yeah. aliases, uh, yeah. 
And so the way that rice and beans started out is me, Cookie, Jasmine, uh, we were talking and a bunch of people kept our, our conversations were were basically like the show and what you were hearing. And so a bunch of people kept bugging us to like record it, you know, put it on the Internet. Just let, you know, just something SoundCloud, something free. And, you know, I'm like, like a podcast. And they're like, yeah, like a podcast. <clears throat> and so we decided I don't think okay, we ever really explained it now that I think of it. No, no, actually we did it. Like there there was a couple of like side content things where we had viewer questions where um they were like, Well, where where did the name come from? And like so I think I only explained it once, but that was like during season like the second episode of season one. So yeah, we barely tapped yeah. in right now, season four, three, I don't know. Well, I'm glad you guys did. Twenty twenty has been, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's. Thank you for having. Yeah. Me. So, like, so really, it was the three of us, and so we figure, like, okay, two Mexicans and an Asian. We're like, ah, oh, fuck it, rice and beans, and so rice that's and beans. that's rice where the name beans. came from, and um, like you know, some of the the close runner ups to. Do you remember some? I remember. I don't. I really. I, yeah, I remember. I was like. It's not that kind of threesome was one of the ones that was in contention. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Or not your parents threesome, like that that kind of thing. And then so eventually it ended up being uh, rice and beans. And so we each took, you know, a pseudonym. And so because she's Asian, Jasmine Rice kind of like <laughs> came to mind right away. <laughs> you know, Cookie had his. I had, you know, from my musician uh stuff i still you know i I just used my stage name that i had big o joined us and uh we also got another host uh another asian another yellow (laughs) and yes that is racist yeah and so you know we have uh, enough hosts where we're you know guitar guys mexican so we rotate through uh the different hosts and then you know everybody has a chance to you know, uh, tap in and tap out is, you know, they have time and we still get to keep it fresh and keep it live and moving for everybody. Um, you said Big O is Asian? No, no. <laughs> from, the, from the waist down. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's right. I did send you that photo, didn't I? Thank you. Thanks, um, by the way. <laughs> Cookie and I are going to use it as our Christmas card. <laughs> So, uh, Mr. Earful, uh, are you guys, like, exclusively, like, T-shirts, or do you guys have, like, any other, like... They're not going to print you those weird condoms that you wanted. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I mean, uh, well, I don't want to speak for him. Would, do you guys do condoms? He's been looking for this weird hey, nah, shit. Like, that would be cool to do uh, some condoms, but, like... <laughs> Earful condoms? That'd be cool. Jimmy yeah, all that. Can you imagine your fucking Trojan with this printed on it? Yeah. All <laughs> this around. condom's already full. It would flavor, be like too. Careful. Flavor too. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> the trick is you pull it off right when you're about to come, and you fucking do it in your <laughs> do it right in your ear, and you say, "Can you hear me coming?" <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> That's called the earful. Yeah, you, now you got baby. Urban dictionary. We, yeah, we gotta get that on the on the urban dictionary. We'll we'll see if we can we'll make the submission. We'll call it yes. the earful, and that's the definition. Okay, you're that's gonna right. come in a chick's ear, and you're gonna say, or I guess cookie in a guy's ear, and Whoa. you're gonna say, "Can you hear me coming?" Similar. Sometimes girls just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not affiliate that with the. <laughs> With the name though, <laughs> sorry, jeez. Leave the five six two out. <laughs> sorry, Cookie. So what were you saying? Allegedly. No, like so. Uh, are you guys just exclusively like T-shirts or like uh, your your brand? Does it do any? Are you guys like uh, coming out with anything new or like? Well, what do you guys have up like um, up and forward? Nah, it's well, it's pretty much. At first, it was you know just. Like started off as t-shirts, just t-shirts and hoodies. Just, and just because, just nice. Like, that's how you got to start ju- off. Just with just between the out. between friends in high school. So it started you guys out, have any new collections trunk, that we should be know, looking out for coming around the bend? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know, the website was will be up. You know, we're gonna promote the website. You know, we'll say a, a, a drop day. But, but new oh, collection. Yeah. New collection is. We just started doing. Cut and sew for the first time, like yeah. nice. Really, instead of just buying a, a blank garment, like a blank T-shirt, blank hoodie, whatever, mm-hmm. and then slapping something on it, we we finally uh, got with somebody. Got, got somebody know. to make a pattern, to draw a pattern now. Somebody a to senora. bring it to life. Yes, yeah. senora, senora. I don't want to say her name, <laughs> but she's uh, 
she's doing her thing in, in Compton. She was she was yeah. recommended to us what, in the what? city. You know, five six. Two, Bless. This is down. It. This is down the street from where I live. So, yeah. It's, is uh, it like a secret map so we can get across the border in Tijuana? Nah. I mean, yes. <laughs> if, you, if, you're, yes. if you're trying to pull up, we we'll take you to the spot. I can't even give you the map. I have to take you myself. Yeah. <laughs> right, Blindfolded. Okay. Yes. Hey, I'm going to pick you in my truck. No be, cell phone. Be, hey, I'm going to pick you in my truck, and you, you're going to hop in the bed. You're, you're down or Wouldn't what? be the first time. <laughs> hey, I've done it before. All right. Yeah. Oh, we've we've all been to Home Depot. Tamale, I'm good to go. All right. Easy. Chapurrado in the morning. You're good. Whoa, I need that right hey, now. Hey, man, I've been out on the desert on peyote. That, that, that ain't going to phase me. You're now, fucking man. out on the man. desert right now. <laughs> peyote. For so, yeah. Have hey. you really? Yeah. It was a wonderful walk, let me just tell you. By yourself? <laughs> uh, Yeah. A life's journey. <laughs> yes. Self-discovery. Yeah, really? ran into a couple prickly pears, but other than that, it was uh, uneventful. That was you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you shaved that day. I told you, Jasmine, we knew him from somewhere. All right. Yeah. yeah Shit. I, think, I think he saw me in Wayne's World, too, that uh, half-naked Indian man with... Uh, Take off the hat. <laughs> oh, man. So, um, so you got the, the new clothing line. Um, any spoilers? Any any kind of, like, hints you can drop on, like, what, uh, what the viewers can... Or what the... Uh, well, I guess our viewers plus your uh, your customers everybody, can everybody yeah. everybody can expect shit. Um, for sure, the cut and sew piece uh, is gonna be a nice little flannel. It's gonna be a short sleeve short sleeve flannel. Uh, half zip. Um, something classic, and then uh, we're doing some um, some short sleeve thermals, short sleeve thermal uh, t shirts. Uh, nice. heard of, usually you, know, you sleep you see yeah. long you sleeve know, so it's... we did some short sleeve and uh, just pretty much like classic simple stuff, simple like yeah said, like, classic it's gonna be something classic. simple and classic yeah. so you'll see it coming i see you guys on instagram looks great are you thinking about maybe uh focusing in on some face masks in the future face mask like uh the like, face, the face cover, the face condoms we all gotta wear now that fucking COVID's yeah. pretty fucking running rampant again. Man, <laughs> yeah, maybe I might do a. Yeah, well, I was thinking about it, but in the beginning, I didn't want to jump on it right away because I felt like it. It just looks like you're just doing it to get a quick buck. You know what I mean? It just doesn't look. It doesn't look. It's a clothing brand. It, it's more. It's more, more than just a, something yeah. to get a quick buck. I, I feel like to me, it's, mm -hmm. it's bigger than that. That's it's, understandable. It's, you know, but now I like I'll, I'll do it, but it's got to be something that's not just like. Yeah, not I, average. I buy a blank so, and I'll yeah. Slap it together. yeah, yeah, not that like something that's gonna wow people. Yeah, be like, yeah, I def I definitely would <laughs> like to for sure. But right on, right on. I thought we'll, we'll make the sure. right design for it. That nice, yeah, nice. Yeah. Maybe like something like, maybe like a, a surprise clothing line, like a fucking rice and beans powered by Earful Clothing. Ooh, okay. right. We don't want the cookie division. Well, maybe we do with the large dick right there on the side. <laughs> Just like oh. a dick creeping up on the neck. <laughs> <laughs> or a face mask with a fucking dick on the cheek for cookie. It's like a a, a real one, like with your smile. Your smile right there. You know how they print the smile? It yeah. So yeah. Real, like... Right with the pea slit right oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> the piece looks like the dimple. <laughs> you know, even make a face mask that looks like a pair of whitey tidies, so you have the hole right there for the <gasps> late night Genius. Do the, the dimples are wow. like, or what do they call them? Someone's the cum gutters. Steal that idea. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, <clears throat> earful, uh, Johnny, Jose, you guys are in for a treat. Are we? Um, FTP Medical, we've uh, we posted about them uh, during the week. Uh, they are a delivery service. Uh, we showed uh, what you get as a first time patient. Also, if you refer five people that uh, t that become first time patients, you're also going to get one of those packs. Uh, if you guys missed it, go ahead and check out our social media. We go we uh, posted it uh, I think yesterday or the day before. Uh, we posted how to get in touch with them. Uh, this is uh, FTP Medical, and they were gracious enough uh, to provide us with uh, two of their pre-rolls. Now, these uh, pre-rolls, let me see if I can get close here without like, going out of focus. Uh, they are uh, 15 bucks each. Uh, 
if you buy less than 10, but if you buy 10 or more, they're 12 bucks. Uh, Astrid and I are actually going to be doing a live review, so we're going to go ahead and get all, you know, we're going to nerd out weed style uh, on this joint uh, later on next week. So we'll go ahead and uh, let you guys know when we're going to do that so you can jump on. We'll be taking uh, questions while we're doing this. Um, so uh, since uh, Johnny and Jose are uh, avid uh, uh, cannabis enthusiasts like we are. <gasps> Uh, we have decided to uh, get them in on this, and so uh, with this joint, there's two and a half, uh, two and a half grams of Skywalker OG. Uh, Mango Moon Rocks have been mixed in, uh, probably a CO2 infusion, just uh, with the same way that you get your Moon Rocks. Uh, the the wrap is a grape hemp wrap, and this is uh, all fancy style because, as you can see, there is a glass filter tip. Ooh. To it. It's a hemp wrap. So, uh, yeah, this nice. is, uh, I believe it's raw paper. Uh, I'll double check with them, and this will be in the in-depth review. Uh, but let's go ahead and try this bad boy out. So, Cookie, we... Man, you started talking about that shit. Wilson's over there gaming, and he slowly started creeping up over here and starts going, like, five feet away from me and goes, Moon Rocks. And I'm like, oh, so you can actually like emerge from your gaming when you, you hear. Need to drop me some of those gummies, over there, Jester. Yes, yeah, we'll get we'll, get we'll get you some. We'll get you some. Uh, they were they were very <laughs> very tasty. Uh, so far, this is really good. You got to make the edible How hot chocolate. How good is it? So you get the full flavor of the uh, of the Skywalker. Uh, I, it it is uh, if you're Ooh. a connoisseur like me, you know that it is. Um, that it's a very distinct taste, a very distinct smell. Um, the smell for me, like, wasn't uh, wasn't exactly what I remember Skywalker OG smelling like. But uh, again, because it is infused with the Moon Rock and the Keef and the Grape Hemp Wrap uh, flavored wrap, does tend to give off an odor, uh, its own odor, and, and its own purpose. It's a, it does impact the taste, and it it does. Um, it does impact uh, when you're when you're smelling the flower that's wrapped in it. So I'm I'm picking up a lot more of the grape, um, a lot more of the grape wrap than the the Skywalker. But that's okay. I mean, Skywalker didn't have it like a when it wasn't one of those like a Northern Lights or like a, a UK cheese or a champagne that you smell that it's like a really super distinct smell where you're like, oh yeah, that's definitely it. Does it give you the urge to announce to everyone around you that you're their father? No, I haven't gotten to that point yet, but in their defense, uh, I haven't met a joint in the last decade that could best me. So um, I guess we'll go ahead and, uh, and we'll go ahead tight. and see how this uh, how this one keeps moving me. Um, Johnny, what did you think? I love it. It tastes, it's, uh, it's an OG, so it's heavy. I could tell the taste is like, it's, a, it's like a... Like a dark chocolate type of, I don't know. If you're a smoker, you could, you know what I mean. Like you, you mm -hmm. could, you could taste it. You could taste like it's dark, it's heavy. It's gonna get you like a, like a super mellow high. I love it. Nice, nice. And uh, to me, it didn't burn at all. Did you get any burn, or was it pretty smooth to you too? Nah, smooth, super smooth. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, cookie. It's uh, <laughs> may as you well. You guys ain't coughing no. so it's got <laughs> No, yeah, like. Uh, it's not at all, man. A uh, big O would we'll definitely try to get you one of these because the, um, yeah, it's 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 really good. I Come like on it. Down. <laughs> you smoke, big O? No, I'm good. Uh, no, I don't partake too much. I mean, uh, my job they do mystery checks every now and then, so I got to watch out. All right, all right, all right. And uh, some of the work that I do can uh, actually kill people, so I got to be very careful what I do. Um, not that I'm against it. Um, purely for it my son does every now and then and i don't judge him i don't judge anybody else but i do know how to smoke nice nice <laughs> i'm a snoop dog smoker <laughs> i could uh, later, that, I'm still doing the same drag the i quit yesterday smoker mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>, exactly <laughs> well, i am well. sober what? We'll find a way to get you one. <laughs> well, I have no. I have to. I have. I, okay, Wilson says, "Give me, give it to me." Well, obviously, I, I, well, I can't. I can't. I'm breastfeeding, so. Aw, like, Jazzy. 
Yeah, you don't want the baby to have cross eyes. That's yeah. true. They're, no, you could. You just have to I mean, pump. They I'm say a you have to pump. Responsible mother, so before. they're already half slanted. <laughs> true. true. <laughs> Was that Johnny? Do no, you remember said, the hey, goodness you, that yeah. this is, Jazzy? Oh, of course. Of oh, course. does it take you back? <laughs> now I have like oh, memories. <laughs> She's like, it does now, asshole. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Was that For how real? the little one came to be? <laughs> 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 if I faintly remember, most likely. Pretty much, pretty much. Well, tell Wilson not to worry. We'll figure out how to get you one, but I'm not keistering anything. I'll do it. I'll do it. Cookie probably will, though. <laughs> so, uh, Jose, uh, what did uh, what did you what did you think of the uh, of the pre roll? We got uh, we got Johnny's input on it. Um, so we'd like to get your feedback too. We uh, know you're also a connoisseur of the cannabis. I'm high as fuck. I, <laughs> <laughs> I had troubles coming back right now. <laughs> you got a nice. Lot of- <laughs> nice. Well, hey, shout out to FTP Medical. Uh, it, it is very good. Uh, you make a really good product. I'm um, looking forward to uh, the live stream that we're going to do. Where is it at, though? Well, oh, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> you Reminded me of that Chappelle skit where he's like, I need to stop smoking this shit. He takes another hit. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, go to town. Like, uh, it's it's really good stuff. And uh, again, guys, uh, get in touch with FTP Medical. I know that they do have a specific area that they do cover. But if you live in the in that area, treat yourself. You know, this is good stuff. Um, the gift bags that they're they're giving you are like insane. There's uh, again, it's on our social media. If you didn't get a chance to check it out, but uh, it's you know a nicer pipe than I've gotten from like some of the some of the other dispensaries, the little plastic like, ones. Yeah, and then you know they they're, throw, they're hooking you up with uh, some pretty decent uh, strength edibles. You know, it's a trial size, but at the same time, it it if you uh, don't require a, a, like a high uh, milligram count, you know, to fill your edibles. Uh, these are definitely going to fuck you up. So, <clears throat> do the gummy bears light up okay, or do they take a long time to get ignited and so you can smoke it in the pipe? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's funny? You yeah, dab it. Why. Is that is that what, you, what are you doing with it? The gummy to dab the gummy bear away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Say it again. This fucker ain't lighting, man. <laughs> right. Yeah, questions about this fucking Bro, gummy. Dude. Just eat it. Just eat it and lay down. <laughs> the dabs and the, the torch. Night, night. You're right there with the torch. Just <laughs> That's everybody's famous last words. These edibles ain't shit. And yep. then fucking 45 minutes later. Yeah. <laughs> Chasing a squirrel butt naked on the front. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> You're talking to the squirrels. How do you get the tail up his butt? Oh, I'll tell you how. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, wait. What about those uh, raccoons? Do you think they store those on the acorns for for years? Or maybe like- not years. Just for the just for the winter. They know how to shove their nuts and things. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> it's just girl trying to get a nut. <laughs> so then I would be a squirrel, right? Oh, in another world, in another life, you would make a perfect squirrel. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I, th- I, th- I thought squirrels were had to be hairier. Isn't that how your code Damn works? It. Hey, yeah. Man, does Bruce Fitting feel like a nut, or does what, is, what does that feel like? Is that an know. almond joy? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. You and Jasmine are the are the, the resident experts on nuts. Not, yeah, we not are. Me, High oh. five. <laughs> All I can think of is a caddy shack. What? It's just a baby Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, with the um, with the spotlight comedian being Dave Chappelle tonight. Um, <clears throat> we uh, are gonna, you know, pay a little homage to uh, to the man himself, and uh, we picked a couple of his uh, his segments, his skits that we we love. We just absolutely lost our shit <clears throat> every time we um, every time we watched them. 
So there was this one skit where Cookie, you remember when Paul Mooney came on? Yeah. And they did uh, they did the uh, Negro Damas. Yes, I do. <laughs> so Rice and Beans has uh, has their own version, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into uh, a little segment we call Beaner Damas. COVID. Uh, did you see it coming? Yes. COVID was supposed to happen. Mm. China always had a master plan, and they needed to wait until something orange and full of shit was in play before they could act. Thank you, Beaner Domus. Mm. Thank you. Beaner Domus, I have a question for you. You, sir. Yes. What is the future relations of Mexico and U.S.? Mexico will inherit for a short time something orange and full of shit <laughs> before we get rid of it and it goes to prison. Yes! Man, Taco Bell is hitting away on this one. <laughs> Taco Bell and Charmin are what, in it together. What rhymes with orange? They were both up and coming and they got together and said... What we can the do this. fuck? Enjoy the go. Trump. You, sir. All right. Are you going to be ready at Home Depot at 5 a.m. to pick you up? You can buy, you can buy my work helper. Like, just boom. <laughs> we're going to come up. Judging by we're the gonna, state of these two we're things. Gonna come up, we're going to come no. up. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you need the work. At 5 a.m. You need the work. That is sick accurate. <laughs> you, madam. Yes. How do you feel about white people? And Oh shit! Oh, I had that today. Neither of them were supposed to be trusted in the first place. <laughs> Dude, I had a ve- I had a, veg- a veggie burrito from there for the first time. How bad did you shit? <laughs> it, it, was, it was good. It was all right. It was straight, <laughs> solid. No? He's like I had a shopping. As your shit won't be. He's like I had a shopping bag and a roll of toilet paper in the car. That's how it was. <laughs> Keep it on me all the time. Yeah. Just remember, eating Chipotle is like going to a Rona party. You may get it, you may not. <laughs> Rona. Don't even need the meat. It don't even mean no work. That's what I say. You always need the meat. <laughs> and he likes his cookies with nuts. So, we are going to get into our next bit and our final act for tonight. Again, uh, paying homage to the man, uh, Dave Chappelle. This uh, segment started off as Black Bush. It was, what if uh, George Bush was black and the situations that he had to face during his presidency, how would that be if he was black? So, we've decided to modernize it a little bit. Again, tweak it for rice and beans and we've come up with brown trump so we go ahead and just set the stage for you this is uh some time ago and there's a certain porn star that uh trump had this scandal with and we turn it over to big o who is brown trump first off i'd like to say the bitch gave me crabs they were beautiful crabs they're beautiful i love them with butter honey and butter Poured all over. Then we had tamales. Next question. <laughs> so, so, uh, Miss President uh, Brown Trump, uh, uh, yes, yes. uh, how was she? Uh, she was very delightful. She was very moist. Uh, she knew how to slide the skin in. She had a she had a supple back, and uh, she had come on her tummy when I was done. I did grab the puss. <laughs> Next, any questions? Any other questions, or could we put this to bed? Thank you, sir. <laughs> Another thing he had to deal with uh, was, <clears throat> you know, almost starting World War Three with Kim Jong Un. Mr. President, your thoughts on that? Uh, there are no thoughts on that. We did not start a war. He's a crazy fuck. I love that little Chinese guy. Uh, sorry, North Korean guy. Uh, Yes, that's what my advisor said. North Korean. Uh, we play drinking games involving a six shooter with one round. And also we have our little red buttons. We play with the buttons. We do it all the time. And Mar Largo, he's a great he's a great guest. Uh, I launch him like a little midget. We toss him around. He loves it. He's like a <laughs> missile. He flies through the air. He's a lovely, fun little Asian. Uh, 
North How Korea, North Korea. Actually? Yes, yes. How any any other further questions, or could we lay this down? <laughs> How do you feel about um, K-pop? K-pop is wonderful. It's South Korea. We all know that they were brought in from North Koreans. They they defected across the border. It's okay. We love them. They're slanted eyes as well. They're wonderful k poppers <laughs> I watch them all the time. I jerk off. It's wonderful. I watch the videos. I have all the post-it notes. I'm on Instagram. K-pop is a shit. Are you exclusively K-pop when masturbating? No, I am not. I'm into some weird Japanese porn. It's lovely. It's wonderful. Mother on daughter, daughter on brother, brother with mother and father, uncles, cousins, bestiality. It's wonderful. It's lovely. I do it all the time. Everybody, everybody does it. Don't judge me. Fuck you. Sir, and if you could pick a favorite, what would it be? My nose. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. sir. Can you please elaborate? Uh, when I pick my nose, I sometimes touch my brain and I come up with some wonderful shit. Um, I did see that you were you were showing some stuff here uh, with a lovely hemp roll. I do want, want to partake with you. Uh, we'll do that on the sly later. Um, yeah, we'll have some young porn stars. We'll enjoy and we'll have fun with our dicks, too. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. And wait, uh, wait, wait. Go, go ahead. Brown, go ahead. Is that Brown Trump? <coughs> yes, it is. I'm speaking to. Yes, 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 it is, Mr. Brown, uh, L.A. man with a hat. Yes, please. Well, speak. Okay, what's your go-to Taco Bell order? Or wait, Taco Bell or Del Taco? For for Del Taco, I love the sour cream. It reminds me of the K-pop and the in the Japanese porn. Uh, I love it. It's soft. It's wonderful. It's milky sweet. I put it down my gullet. Uh, cookie, I see you love it too. Uh, we will go out to. I'm lactose. <laughs> That's just sour cream if you're down. What kind of drink do you use? <laughs> the throat yogurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, you are correct, Cookie. We're going to have a lovely time. Transgender parties. Transgender. <laughs> Unity. <laughs> so another thing that Trump had to deal with uh, during uh, his presidency is something that we're still having to deal with now. And uh, it sucks, and it's everywhere, and we can't get away from it, and it's fucking not going to go away. So uh, COVID-19, Brown Trump. Uh, I did not know she was 19, first of all. Okay. <laughs> uh, we will make sure in the future that she's a little bit older. But, hey, 19 is of legal consent. Um, COVID is a lovely, lovely thing. Uh, I'm sorry that it went through a lot of people in reverse order. We will try to fix this in the future. Um, the sickness I got was because I had Catherine Zeta-Jones pussy in my mouth. I got throat cancer. No, COVID cancer. Yes, it was throat cancer, COVID <laughs> cancer. Um, I am going to create Catherine Zeta-Jones face masks so everybody gets the Rona. Rona is delicious. Rona is wonderful. We eat it with tamales down in the hood, me and the Vario. The Vario guys, we throw some Signs. We're all down. We're with the hemp. We have the 40s. It's a 40 shoddy. That's how we roll. Okay. We have the 20 where, spinners. Where did uh, Brown Trump grow up? Brown Trump grew up in the hood. We're down in South Central. We're going around. We're, we're busting caps and asses. We're on the corners. We're throwing I don't believe down it, Brown lights. Trump. Where is Brown Trump really from? Where are your stripes at? Brown Trump is really from Tijuana. Tijuana, baby. That's where we're from. Now, we may have walls. Are you a dreamer? Are you a dreamer, Brown Trump? Dreamer? No, I do not dream about shit. I just watch porn. Uh, Brown Trump, what happened uh, to COVID's 1 through 18? Uh, I killed it. I axed it. My blood is like tiger's blood. Charlie Sheen has nothing on me. He said I killed ask, that shit right in Epstein. the beginning. <laughs> grabbed it by the balls. I was ripping it up like a pit bull. Arr, that's what Trump does. I may be orange. I may be brown. I may have funny hair, but I killed that shit all the way up to 19. And like I said, I did not know she was 19 at the time. Hell, she told me she was 21, but it's okay <laughs> because I'm not giving a beer. <laughs> No beer. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, Brown Trump. <laughs> Good job, Big O. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we are coming up on... Cup? Say that again? Is that a souvenir cup? Yeah, yeah. For one of the, <laughs> one of the um, premier uh, theaters out here. Show me. 
<laughs> one of the adult theaters. <laughs> right. Yes. Are the floors sticky? Put it on camera, no, they, please. They are clean that? because I get there and clean it up. Okay, that's why I get the souvenir cup. Um, the jizz mopper. <laughs> Let's see it. Show the cup. Show the cup. <laughs> Stunning. That, Closer. Uh, yes. Jeez. And you know what? Half the half the semen on the floor at those places are for me. So, you know, of course I have to clean it up after I'm Thank done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we were coming up on our time for this episode, and I wanted to thank our guest, Earful Clothing, for being in the house. Um, thank you, thank guys. You for let everybody it. know Appreciate how it. they can get at you. Uh, the link you see the little the at right here. Uh, right here. You see it on the Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, same the- shit. Earful five six two. Just how it sounds. Earful five six two. Yeah. Numbers. Twitter and Instagram. Um, just look out there. for the new shit. You'll see it. Just some simple shit. Uh, something for you, everybody. You fuck with classic shit. You fuck with us. <laughs> you fuck with the the lifestyle. You fuck with everything. You know, like yeah. Tap in. Uh, just tap in. New shit coming. Go to their website. They're cool as fuck. Thank you, Big O. Thank you, Big O. Uh, we got we got t-shirts for all of you guys coming very soon. Sweet. We're going to send you guys a little box. Swag. Yeah. What? We're going to get your size. F- yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right, all right guys. Ad, well, again, bro. thank you very much for coming in. Nice. We still have another half season. to. We're actually now this uh, at a quarter season here. So we still have another three quarters of a season to go. We've got a, a bunch of other funny comedians lined up. So if you feel like coming back anytime during the season, you're more than welcome. Just hit us up and we'll get you in here. Um, so yeah. guys, get at them. Uh, the clothing line is excellent. You're going to love it. Uh, go Quality. check them out. Instagram at Earful562. And uh, don't forget to check us out while we're there. We're going to be posting a lot more content. We've actually came up with a little system to keep you in the loop and, uh, you know, keep us out there. Uh, We're going to be posting uh, starting Monday. We're going to be posting three times a day on all of our social medias. Fuck Checker's already taken over Twitter. And from what I hear, had a couple of bad days and a couple of long shits. So I'm pretty sure there's some, you know, shit up there that she's bitching about. Probably me, but whatever. We're here. We're doing it. Um, So check us out. uh, www.riceandbeanscast.com We're also uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good shit. So tune in. Catch a lot of our sub content. And we're actually going to be having new content coming out for you guys. We're going to You know, we decided to, like, have some real fun with this and start really expanding on some of the ideas that we had during season one, but may not had of may not have had the resources to pull them off yet so now we we're at a point where we do and so we're going to bring some of those ideas to you in the way of uh sketch comedy uh some commercials we've uh we're supporting local businesses so local businesses if you're out there and you want some free advertising hit us up uh send us a commercial for yourself 30 seconds and we're going to go ahead and throw them on during the episodes uh, Earful, you guys are welcome to do the same. We've uh, we'll already teamed up with uh, a few well. local businesses out here. And uh, Jasmine and Big O, uh, if you guys know any local businesses that uh, would want some free advertising, let us know. And uh, we'll go ahead and, and get them up there. You know, this is, uh, you know, our like everybody has their own way of, you know, supporting local businesses. And, you know, we can't we all have day jobs. We can't do a lot, but this is what we can do. So we are going to do it. All right, guys, and until next week. If you're too horny to sleep and too tired to masturbate, listen to Rice and Beans. Peace. Peace out.